Hey guys, Amy here with Leap of Faith Crafting. Thanks so much for stopping by. So today we are going to be making this super cute light up lantern just out of cardstock and um, a piece of vellum. I will link where I got this file below and it's really an easy project to do. The cutting is what takes the longest because we have quite a few mats to cut out. But other than that, assembling it is super easy and um, you will see that when we do it. So these actually open up so you can put a, just like a tea light or something inside and then it glows at night. So let's jump into design space and start crafting. Okay, so I'm gonna go into Cricut Design Space and hit that new project button. And we are gonna go ahead and upload. I'm gonna browse images browse and then I'm gonna go down find and hit the la lantern gnome and open up this file and then within the file there's a bunch of different ones I am going to hit this is the, how the SVG comes up on my PC laptop as a Microsoft Edge so I'm gonna hit that because I want all of them at one time you can go into the SVG files themselves and all the artboards will be there I'm going to go ahead and open this and you can see everything comes up there. I'm going to hit continue and then upload. Okay, so it's going to come in pretty big like this. So right now, and it comes in as a group. So right now, I just kind of want to see how tall it is. So I'm just going to ungroup it actually. And ungroup this one, just so I can see the back. So it comes in at 10 inches tall and seven inches wide, which I want it bigger. I'm using a 12 by 24 mat, so I can get it quite a bit bigger just to make it really stand out. So when I wanna resize it, I wanna make sure I resize everything together. So I'm gonna go ahead and click select all. That selects everything and then I'm gonna make it, let's go up to 15 inches tall. It is about 10 inches wide. And I'm gonna type in 17. Okay, and hit enter. Okay, so now when I click on this one, you can see it's 11.4, which will cut on my mat. Has to be less than 11.5 or less to cut on a 12 by 24 inch mat. And then I have actually 12 by 24 inch paper, so that black will fit on there fine. All right, the colors here, and all the oranges for the pumpkins, and then there should be the clear parts for the acetate. Oh, they're under here. No, oh, they're over here. Okay, so these ones are going to be my acetate for my pumpkins. Okay, so now that we have everything, we're gonna go ahead and, yep, save. Okay, I'm gonna be cutting this on a mat. So for the white, I'm gonna change this to a 12 by 12 mat, because I don't need that, even the gray. So my acetate is eight and a half by 11. So that's not gonna fit on there. So I'm gonna change this one to eight and a half by 11. And it probably will go into two, which is fine. Okay, so these are my tall black. Got one there. And then that one, since they don't fit on the same. Ooh, and then my oranges. Actually, to see what this does. So my orange, I only have 12 by 12s. So I'm gonna change this back to a 12 by 12 for the orange color. And it splits it into four different mats. This one, I guess I should have clicked 12 by 12 at the beginning. I have to go in and change all of these. Okay, so some of these I'm actually gonna change because I don't wanna do this many mats. 
So on this one I have, that's the colored. I'm actually gonna go to this one, click on that three and actually hit on move object. And then I'm going to move it over to this mat here and hit confirm. Okay, so I'm just gonna move it to the side so I know, and that is my brown one. And then my yellow one, I'm actually gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna click on it, click move object, and click it on there. And then I'm just gonna move this down to about here. That's my buckle. Okay, so I have those. On this, I might actually have to tape together on the back. And this one I'm gonna move to. Move object to this one. Confirm, I'm gonna put this one over here. Okay, so we got the nose, the hand, and then we have a it's gonna be the shoe, belt buckle, and then the mouth all on one. So we're just gonna to have to remember the colors of that. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and go back and start cutting these out. I'm gonna hit that continue. It is going to find my maker. Okay, so we are starting with a white piece of cardstock here. I'm just gonna load. I'm just gonna place this on my cutting mat. And I always use my brayer to make sure it's nice and stuck. Then I'm going to select medium cardstock. Okay, we are going to head over to my Cricut machine here. I'm going to place this mat underneath my glides there. My load button is blinking, so we're going to load that up. always like to just clean my blade at the beginning of any cardstock project. I just push that out and push it into a ball of foil there. Put it back in. My cut light is blinking so I'm going to click that and let this cut out. My machine paused and my light's blinking so I'm going to go ahead and unload that mat. Pull my first piece off and if you flip your mat over and pull the cardstock away from the mat that helps it from curling up and bending. Okay so my next piece that this is telling me is my eight and a half vellum piece so we are going to browse material. I'm just gonna type in vel, comes up with vellum, I'm gonna say done. Okay, so I'm going to put a piece of vellum paper on here. You could also get colored vellum paper. I've done that for some of my stuff. It makes that light just, you know, yellow, purple, whatever kind of color you want. Okay, again, we're going to load this up. Okay, and we're just gonna keep doing this over and over until we have all of our pieces cut out and then we're gonna go ahead and start the assembly. Okay, so for my black back piece, I have a 12 by 24 sheet of cardstock and this is Cricut cardstock and I will link all these below but I only have one sheet left, so I'm gonna have to probably tape the next one together for that. But again, I'm gonna put this as medium cardstock. So for my next black piece, 
it actually only goes down about an inch into the next sheet. It's the it's the broom. So I'm actually going to tape it on the back side. This is just a scrap piece I have. Because like I said, it really is only going to go down about an inch and only on the side when I flip it over. So I'm going to peel these pieces off. this one on okay hit that medium cardstock button again and cut this one okay then we're on to our orange pumpkin color and this is actually cardstock I just got off Amazon so it was a big pack of orange colors just for my fall and pumpkin crafts and while my, I have two mats going, so while that one is going, I can pull off these. And the nice thing about having four sides is if one doesn't cut out quite right, you can put it on the back side. But these small ones, you can also use intricate setting on the settings under cardstock. And just make sure you have a nice sticky mat and a clean or a relatively new blade. That's nice and sharp. So for my hat, since I'm doing it bigger, I actually need to put two pieces together. Kind of like we did before. Okay. I'm gonna tape them together this way. Getting them as close as we can on the back side. And then taping it all the way across. Okay, so my next mat is the one that I oops, put all of those on. So I'm just gonna look at this while I apply the cardstock to, to my mat. So up in that corner, I have this color, that is the hand. And then over in this corner is the mouth. Okay, and then I have the belt buckle down here and it was below the five inch mark. Oops, it goes the wrong way. This is the mouth down here. And then I have a the shoe up here and that's going to the nine okay so since I have all the same kind of cardstock the medium cardstock I can cut them all out on one mat just saves me some time so I'm gonna load that up okay so that 
piece is already taped together, so we don't need to worry about it. So then you just want to grab your favorite adhesive, glue sticks, craft glue, tape glider. I am out of my tape glider, but that's the one I use the most, but I use the Burley Art Precision craft glue when I just put it in here. And we're just going to start putting this together. Okay, then we're just going to glue. Like I said, keep gluing things on. goes on top of here and then it's going to glue on here and then I'm going to put a little bit of glue here to hold that on. And the mouth. And then we are gonna glue one of these on here. Sorry about the crazy glare. Afternoon, it is 105 today here. I'm gonna get all that sun right in front of our house. So now we are going to glue the vellum to the back of, just want to make sure that it reads right. Okay, we have all those. Then, so just make sure on the third one that you glue the right one down here that has those openings on the top and the bottom. Luckily I did, and I wasn't even paying attention to that. But we're gonna stick this together so that it can sit like that. And then do put it in the notch is there and so it sits so it opens up like that okay and then we're gonna put the circles in the top and so they just goes in each of those notches there. Okay, so then that is flat there. And then we're gonna put, do the same thing on the bottom. Just line up all those notches. Okay, 
so we have all of those notches and those crevices on both sides and now those these just fit perfectly in we just stick them down in those holes and up through the top Okay, like that, and we're gonna do all of those all the way around. And I'm just gonna make sure that the ones that are a little bit messed up go on the back side. Which were that one. Put those on my back side. So these are the good ones. Okay, and then I'm going to leave that one open to put the candle in. And I find it easiest to have a candle that has a remote so you don't have to open it back and forth. Or you can just kind of leave it open to turn your candle on and off. So, I have a, just a tea light. I might want a bigger one. And we're going to close it with this. So as far as 3D things that stand up go, I love these ones because there's not a whole lot of gluing and putting it together. This we're going to have to... Okay, so there he is, so cute. Such a cute Halloween item. I love things that light up, so this is definitely one. I've made a few of these before. Um, if you've seen my videos of a pumpkin, a Grinch, um, a couple different ones, but I love them because they go together just so easy. So anyway, make sure you hit the subscribe button so you don't miss any more tutorials, and happy crafting, everyone.